Hi, this video is here to help you with adding and subtracting fractions when they have the same denominator. Let's have a quick reminder about some fractions vocabulary. The denominator is the number on the bottom of the fraction. It tells us how many equal parts the whole is divided into. The numerator is the number on the top of the fraction. It tells us how many equal parts we have. So for 5 eighths, the whole has been divided into 8 equal parts and we have 5 of them. When we add or subtract fractions with the same denominator, we are calculating with the same type of fraction. In this example, we are adding ninths. We have 5 ninths and 2 ninths. And when we combine them, we have 7 ninths. What do you notice about the fraction in the answer? What happens to the denominator? What happens to the numerator? The denominator has remained the same, 9, and the numerator is the total of the numerators in the calculation. 5 add 2 equals 7. When we add fractions with the same denominator, we just add the numerators, and the denominator stays the same. The same method works for subtracting fractions with the same denominator. If we are subtracting 2 sevenths from 6 sevenths, we start with 6 sevenths. We take away 2 sevenths and four sevenths remain. The denominator has remained the same, seven, and we just subtract the numerators. Six take away two equals four. When we subtract fractions with the same denominators, we just subtract the numerators and the denominator stays the same. What's different about this addition calculation? Pause the video now and try to solve it. You could use a bar model to help you with this. we add four fifths and three fifths together, we have seven fifths. Using a bar model, we can see that this is more than the whole. It is one whole and two fifths. Remember, when we add fractions with the same denominators, we just add the numerators and the denominator stays the same. So for four fifths add three fifths, the denominator five stays the same and we add the numerators four and three, which equals seven. Five fifths makes one whole, so we can take five of the seven fifths to make one whole, and we're left with two fifths. Four fifths plus three fifths equals seven fifths, which equals one and two fifths. Now it's your turn. Pause here to have a go at answering these calculations. Remember, you can use a bar model to help you if you prefer. How did you get on? Check your answers carefully and try using a bar model to help you fix any answers that you got wrong. Time for a challenge now. Can you help Sonny understand why his answers are wrong? Explain his mistake and correct the calculations. Pause now while you answer the question. How did you get on? Sonny's answers were incorrect because he's added and subtracted the denominators as well as the numerators in the fractions. For three quarters add two quarters, he only needed to add the numerators, three and two, which equals five. The denominator, four, needed to remain the same. So three quarters add two quarters equals five quarters, which is equal to one and one quarter. For 9 elevenths take away 5 elevenths, he only needed to subtract the numerators. 9 take away 5, which equals 4. The denominator, 11, needed to remain the same. So 9 elevenths subtract 5 elevenths equals 4 elevenths. I hope this video has helped you with adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator. If you're looking for some more math help, we've got lots more videos like this one available on the Twinkle website.